Um, with difficulty. It's it's never pleasant coming second. Um, you know, so it's not something you enjoy, but uh, we do need to reflect on it because there was a, there was a lot of messages in there for us, and we'll do that. You know, obviously, recovering is a big priority for the, for the boys first, and reflecting on on that outing, and then really honing in on the one that's coming. What do you think is the main issue? Um, probably decision making, options taken that uh, that weren't in our best interests, which obviously made uh, New Zealand's life a lot easier than it, than it needed to be. Uh, the box at home, you think it might be a bit of more determined performance from the private box? You see it's been quite a, quite a challenge yet, David. Yeah, it's clearly a different box side from the one we met in, um, in Sydney. Uh, you know, they've obviously been sitting here and wouldn't have enjoyed observing the, the recent fixtures. So, and you've got a World Cup coming and the, the squad hasn't been resolved yet, so they've got an awful lot to play for and, and it's essentially the incumbent World Cup squad that'll be running out. So. Yeah, it'll be totally different. It's been quite yeah. a long trip. Um, it takes the players some time just to settle into Durban or just settle into the body clock getting in place again. Oh yeah, the boys will do that. They'll do that quickly. Um, they're adept at that now. They're experienced. They know what's involved. They know what they need to do. Um, and we'll get it done and prepare well for Saturday. So feeling you feel that maybe the spring will Oh look, that, that's with experience. Rust isn't an issue. You know, I think we saw that last weekend with the All Black performance. That was the most experienced All Black side yet, and they they were right on song. You always had a big win on the half last year, but uh, are you more comfortable playing at the coastal level? Yeah, I wouldn't call it a big win. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, test rugby isn't about comfort. So, yeah, to suggest we're more comfortable playing at sea level, the answer is probably no. But uh, the great thing about playing in South Africa is it doesn't matter where you play, you're playing a, a in a great uh, cauldron, you know, and Kings Park is one of the great rugby stadiums, so we do enjoy that. How much have you, uh, with the World Cup obviously coming very quickly, uh, how much uh, do you reflect on how to start that the weekend performance and what do you see you build from that at the World Cup? Well, it was certainly um, a game that was indicative of what the World Cup will be like. Um, I guess the All Blacks at Eden Park, it was probably always going to be that. Uh, and I suspect that from this point on, that's the way it'll be. Because you know, it's coming around very soon and, and players are aware of that, teams are aware of that. So they're wanting to, to get underway to best effect. Have you got any concerns with your goal kicking at this stage? Oh, obviously, um, James wouldn't have enjoyed his, his kicking performance on the weekend, but um, it's unusual for him. You know, he, he's been kicking very well, and he'll, he'll kick well again. And uh, it's generally good conditions for kicking here, so no, we don't see it as, as, as an issue go, going forward from here. Really quite good to know, was, that, was that the side on the field? No, the through the week, yeah, oh, okay. it was it discussed. Prior to the game, yeah. So he wasn't going there. Like yeah, not so much that. It was more more discussed around uh, the longer yeah. shots. Quaid, oh, Quaid was going to take okay. those, um, and off the back of that, he was going to be the backup kicker. So you leave that very much to the to the blokes on the day. But we do discuss who's who's next cab off the rank. <laughs>